Hello guys, it's Richard Curtis here. I'm here today with another one of my meltdown tips. We're talking about the full-on tantrum on the floor now. The child who is kicking and screaming on the floor. They go, ah! And you know that actually it's a huge, great big public display. Now, first of all, one of my favourite adverts for how to deal with a child on the floor kicking and screaming. There's an advert in a supermarket where actually the parent just goes down on the floor and starts screaming and kicking the floor themselves. So <laughs> It's one of my favourite adverts. It's just so funny. Sometimes the way to deal with a child having a meltdown is just to go for it yourself. Real distraction. Do something that's just going to go. The child goes, what? What's this? Because actually, that's coming. That's one of the things that we use in behaviour management. Is coming in at 90 degrees. Doing something expected to completely distract the child and, and kind of scaffold them out of it. That is, and I do love that advert. Now, another thing to use is to think about, okay, do you just walk away and ignore them? There are some children, when, when they're having the full-on tantrum on the floor, the kicking and screaming, all the rest of it, you just walk away. And that's the way to cope with it. And actually, because they haven't got an audience, they then go, oh, oh, okay. The other way of dealing with the tantrum on the floor is actually to stay and to negotiate with the child. Now, this is um, something, that, and, and certainly for me, it's my least favourite way, but it is um, a negotiation skill. It is a life skill to actually teach a child that, I mean, the, the tantrum doesn't work, so you're not going to give the child a reward to get them out of a tantrum. What you are going to say is, if you can be good for dinner time, then you can have such and such you can have a pudding or you can have a treat or something like that so actually what you're going to do is you're going to introduce a sense of do something and then you'll get a reward and this is how we're going to negotiate with a child who's having a tantrum um, if they are that sort of child and different children work different ways so think about which way is going to work for your child is distraction is ignoring is negotiation your way out of this situation. Now I hope this has been useful and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.